Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 1818, the Veteran Emergency Medical Technician Support Act. I also want to thank Congressman Kinzinger for his leadership on this bill, and I also want to recognize the Chief Operations Officer for the Western Berks EMS in my district, uh, Ed Moreland, who came to my office and shared with me uh, what this bill was all about. It's a very easy bill to support, and not only is it an easy bill to support, it's a very important, valuable bill uh, for myself um, and other members to support, because in my state of Pennsylvania, where I used to be a county commissioner and before that a township supervisor, uh, we see firsthand the very valuable role uh, that EMTs and paramedics uh, provide to local communities. Uh, and we also know that there is a demand for more EMTs and paramedics. In fact, over the next uh, eight years, we, it's estimated that there will be another 40,000 EMTs and paramedics uh, that we will need in this country. I have the honor to serve on the House Committee on Veterans Affairs. One of the things that we focus on on that committee is, is working to find innovative solutions to help our veterans find successful careers uh, when they return home and to utilize the skills that many servicemen and service women uh, obtain and possess during their, uh, their service. And indeed, many of the best training and experience that military men and women get uh, overseas is uh, in the area of emergency medicine. And when you look at what it takes to be an EMT, the education, training, and skill level, uh, and, and what's required in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and many other states, you realize that uh, there is an equivalency that many veterans already have that they've uh, obtained while serving in the military. This bill seeks to uh, streamline the process so that if a veteran already has the training, the education, the skill level, the experience, that we can basically uh, not require that veteran to uh, spend more time, more money, going through the process of obtaining a certification and instead uh, get them into uh, the practice of actually serving their community uh, and working in a professional environment. What this does is gets qualified veterans to work quicker. It also fills the community needs quicker. It is common sense bipartisan legislation to address the demand for qualified professionals in our communities and it provides veterans with good job opportunities. It's why I encourage my colleagues to support it. It's why I commend Congressman Kinzinger and why I thank Ed Moreland of the Western Berks EMS uh, Department for bringing this to my, to my attention. I yield back the remainder of my time.